I can't believe his business is so incredible. And if I can do this, every single one of you can do this. Every single one of you. Welcome to the Wholesaling Inc. podcast. My name is Brent Daniels, and I will be your host on this incredible journey that we have today. Uh, this is both on the podcast and on video. This is the first time that I've done this, and it is so exciting to share this with you. But I want to start out with a thought about belief. Okay, let's think about what you believe in. What you because what you believe in is going to is going to fuel the potential that you have. The potential you have is going to fuel the actions that you take, and the actions you take are going to fuel the results that you get. So what what does that mean? Well, that means that you have to have a level of certainty about this business, about the wholesaling business. You have to have just a bulletproof certainty that you can make a change, that you can take action, that you can be successful in this, that you can go out and talk to homeowners and get uh, and understand their problems and solve their problems. Right here behind me, uh, if you are watching this on video, is a little chart and it's four boxes and it's very, very simple. Okay, it talks about the potential that you have leads to the actions that you take, leads to the results that you get, leads to the beliefs that you can do it again and again, and it increases the beliefs that you have. Okay, and with that, I really want you to focus right now because sometimes you don't have that certainty. Sometimes you've never done a deal. Sometimes you've done deals, but you don't know if you'll do more, or you've, had, you've been at one place and you're plateaued and you want to go to the next level. Well, the, the way to change that is you have to change the results in your head first. You have to visualize the outcomes. If you want to drive that Lamborghini or Ferrari, great. If you want to pay off all your debts and live totally debt-free, pay off your mortgage and your, your student loans and your cars and everything and, true, and have that true freedom of not being a servant to any debts, you can do that, but you have to do it in your head first. You have to be able to believe. You have to set that certainty. You have to see the results already, and then that'll increase your beliefs. You increase your beliefs, you increase your potential, you increase your potential, you increase the actions you take, and then it just goes to the results, and then the results feed your beliefs, and now you are off and running, and you are making this an absolute life-changing uh, business. Wholesaling is hitting the lottery. Wholesaling is literally like a cash machine, but you gotta believe it in your head first, and I'm telling you, you can do it. I've got a perfect example sitting here on this podcast with me from Houston, Texas. Please welcome Benjamin Blackburn. Benjamin, tell, talk to me, how are you? I'm doing good, I'm doing good, Brent. Uh, first off, it's an honor to be talking with you live. It's Still feels fake, but uh, I really appreciate you having me. Seriously, the honor it's is awesome. all mine, man. You have been doing some incredible things. So tell me, let's let's let everybody know about you. So what is your background? Do you have a family that's in real estate? Have you always been in real estate? Do you have a ton of experience with it? T tell me, kind of who you are. That's what people want to know. Well, yeah, my, my dad actually he has a few rentals. Um, he has three rentals, and uh, he's just all about that passive income. So I guess that's where it actually started. Um, I don't really have a huge real estate background at all. You know, I took the traditional route, went to college, uh, graduated, and was thrown into a cubicle. Sure. <laughs> so I've been in uh, corporate America for about eight years as of last Friday, um, which I'll touch on in a few. Um, and really wholesaling related, I uh, started wholesaling about three years ago. Uh, but to be honest with you, I wasn't consistent at all. I was very, it was very sporadic in like the first two years or so. Um, you know, mailings here, mailings there, a deal here, a deal there. Um, and then about a year ago, I met my partner, Derek Acuff, and uh, we've done a few deals since. And uh, six months ago, that's when I joined TTP, and that, that's when uh, things just started exploding. Seriously. Exploding. Okay, so what, what is your, or what, what is or what was your full-time profession? Uh, I was in marketing. So basically I designed, this is crazy. I designed balloons and bandit signs for <laughs> apartment complexes. <laughs> yeah, sure. Okay. Got it. And how long were you doing it? 
Uh, I did that for about three years. And prior to that, I was actually in sales. So I was in online sales for a school. So that got me the, the experience of being on the phone and getting me comfortable, I guess, you know. <laughs> sure, sure. It, it absolutely does. I mean, I, I know a lot of the students in the Wholesaling Inc. and in the TTP program come from a background of sales. It makes us crazy people, right? It makes us, uh, you know, comfortable talking to people. So it's, I guess so. It's definitely a leg up, but I'm telling you, you certainly don't need that background to be doing what we do. Uh, it's just about um, you know sharing the value and, and, and solving problems and going out and talking to new people every day. So, okay, so you've been doing this now. Are you still in this job? Uh, no. Crazy thing is, uh, I left this job on Friday of last week. Um, yeah, I had to take that leap of faith. Uh, I do have a wife and two kids, and uh, we've always talked about me um, just taking it to a whole nother level. And, um, you know, it's always been the lack of time, you know, working 40 plus hours, 50 hours a week. Uh, I've never really had time to, to put my full energy into into this. But now I do. And um, I mean, the sky's the limit. Seriously. I love it. So, uh, first of all, for uh, getting out of your nine to five job. <laughs> that's just the Thank first, you. that's the first bell of many people in this building i'm telling you hate that bell they're all like you know engineers and everything so it's hilarious that they, they look at me like wow. i have 15 eyes but um so you you finally got out of the job you're doing this full time so what tell me how you're going to create this business how are you going to schedule your day walk me through how your day looks now okay so um i've only been doing it for about let me see today yeah, <laughs> so it's crazy. but as of right now, I begin the day, I wake up at seven o'clock, I go to the gym. Um, I'm in a little fitness thing right now, so I'm trying to get healthy and live forever for my family. So I go to the gym, um, I come back home, usually get home around nine o'clock, and that's where I do my follow-up calls. Okay. So um, Pop Podio and Mojo, I get those emails, I immediately hit those people up, and, uh, and then I literally start dialing for three to four hours uh, a day, nonstop on the triple dialer. And this is just making cold calls to homeowners? Cold calls straight up to homeowners that I've never spoken with before. Got it. And uh, how long have you been making calls? I know that you had joined uh, my program in uh, about six months ago. So what is that? Uh, Fe right. February. So mm -hmm. when did you actually start taking action and picking up the phone and getting on the dialer? And how did you do that? With a full-time job. That's the crazy part. Uh, so I'll be completely honest with you, Brent. Um, I joined the program and I really didn't do much, which I really regret for sure. about a month or so. Um, and then that's when I got that kick after listening to everybody and seeing all the success. Um, but I was very limited. I was literally only able to dial one hour a day on my lunch break um, every day. So that was really tough. Um, it, it was very tough because I would get home. You know, the two kids and my wife, she's a she just got certified as a personal trainer. So I would get home and then she would leave. So yeah. it would just be me and her kids. So it was very tough. But um, three months into the program, that's when I realized, hey, I need to make more calls. So me and Derek, we hired a VA from the Philippines from Upwork. And uh, we paid her $7 an hour. And she dialed three hours a day, Monday through Friday. So 15 hours. And, um, yeah, it, it took a lot of work, you know, training her up to get her to get her right. Because, I mean, I, I feel like you don't hire the perfect VA. You train the perfect VA to sure. get you what you need. Sure. So, um, and, and, yeah, that's that's where we're at now. She's got us. Uh, she's got us two deals and I've got us one deal from from cold calling specifically. Beautiful. I love it. Well, first of all, let's hit on the fact that you're working full time and then when you get a break from your full time grind on lunch, you then get on a dialer and you call up strangers. I'm telling you, most people won't even, are so afraid of call, picking up the phone and calling strangers and you're doing it on your lunch break like it's you know no big deal because you have that, like I talked about in the beginning, you had that, the, the, the results already in your head. You had the belief that if I I 
can get in front, if I can have conversations with homeowners, I can, or property owners, whatever it is, I can make an impact. I can have them, uh, you know, come into my world and I can go into theirs and I can understand what's going on. And through the process of the, the, the whole wholesaling process, I'm able to, to bring results to them and bring results to you and your family to the point now where you're able to quit that full-time job and now it's going to go bananas. It's going to go absolutely bananas because now you got full time to do on it to, to go on it so so and you just mentioned part of your day is three hours on the phone so you have your VA calling and your calling uh yes yes oh. absolutely I call in the mornings and she calls in the evenings oh this is gonna be I mean you're just gonna pour <laughs> gasoline on this thing man. it is just gonna be absolutely phenomenal so how do you how do you set yourself up I mean you know before the hardest part I believe to getting on the phone is just starting. So what do you do to prepare yourself to get on and make those calls? So uh, right before I, I get on the dialer, I have a video saved on YouTube. This this may sound kind of weird, but it's called Voice Warm Ups. Mm -hmm. um, it's literally this guy who does ah, la, 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 just weird stuff with his face, but it, it really loosens me up. Sure. And, and I also, this might be crazy as well, I have a mirror right here. Beautiful. Um, so I always, our motto when I was on the phone back in the day was smile and dial because the, the person on the other end can definitely feel your vibe and, and feel you and, and they know if you're smiling or if you're just a robot going through the motions. So sure. I always make sure I'm smiling, warm up my voice and, uh, and get mojo going. That is I'm huge. Literally that is huge, guys. You, you have the mirror in front of you. You're there. You, you, you make sure that you're looking at yourself and you're getting that enthusiasm. You're smiling. You're making sure that you can have a really great tone. We talk about the three core things that you need when you're making calls. One, the script. Two, your tone. And three, your pace or your tempo. And it's so vital. And when you have that mirror in front of you, it, it like challenges you. If you look at yourself and you look all, yes. you know, sour and down and, you know, you, you're, you're rubbing stuff out of your eyes and you're just sitting there and you're kind of like, oh man, it's going to affect the way. So what you do effect effectively is you change your state. First of all, you warm up a little bit, just like exercising, right? You warm up your body, you get it going, and then you really put in the work. Um, but this is like you're changing your state. You're looking at yourself. You're making sure that you're staying accountable to making sure that these are the most quality conversations that you can have. That is excellent. Absolutely. Well, let's break down a deal. Let's break down whatever. Hey, let, let's say your last deal, or do you have a specific deal? I want you to pull it all back and, and, and start from the beginning. So let's start here. So how did you find this deal first? Um, straight up cold calling uh, while on my lunch break in a hotel. So that's how I found it. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, number two, what list were you calling? Uh, this was a straight up absentee owner with high equity. Um, when I say high equity, we do about 50% plus uh, equity. Okay, that, where, where did you get that list? Uh, list source directly. Um, you know, I, I feel like list source is a very, uh, very decent list, you know, very accurate, you know, compared to other, other sources. Yeah, and it helps that we get a huge discount being in the program. Oh, <laughs> that's amazing. I still can't believe that discount. That's yeah. huge. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, huge. yeah, absolutely. So, okay, so then you plug it in and you press go and this person answers. What happens? Yeah, this person answers and crazy thing is he was a cop and uh, <laughs> he was doing his daily rounds and I heard the microphone or I heard his dispatch and everything yep. and I asked him straight up. I was like, are, are you a police officer, sir? He was like, yes, sir, I am. Is there a problem? And I was like, no, not at all. And uh, <laughs> just, you know, build a rapport and a... Uh, the fact that he was a cop riding around and still talking to me about his issues with this property was huge and it just uh, validated his motivation. So uh, right off the bat, you know, I was just hitting him with the with the script, of course, um, and just building rapport, um, found out he has a property that he's been renting out to family uh, for about a year now. And uh, they've kind of been tearing the place up and he's he's basically just a tired landlord, yep. you know, uh, just wanted to get out the situation. So uh Built more rapport, um, you know, figured out everything, all the ins and outs of the property. And uh, I got off the phone with him, and that's where I called my partner, Derek. He's literally like the boots on the ground while I was at work. So he got out there, uh, built more rapport. Um, you know, we have a great relationship with him to this day. 
And uh, he got it under contract. And uh, the thing was, the tenants, he wants to give the tenants, of course, since it's family, a month to get out. So we were stalled for about a month, which just gave us time, you know, to bring in uh, qualified buyers and, uh, and get it sold. And that's what we did. And uh, I literally, we got our checks this Monday delivered. And uh, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy. But that was our most recent deal. And uh, we made about $25,000 on that property right there. Twenty five. Thousand. Are you guys ready for this? Are you guys ready for this silver, big silver bell? Hey, Twenty-five thousand. Now let me ask you, how much were you making at your other job annually? Oh, um, net probably about forty. Right. Forty net the yeah. whole year. Yeah, yeah. So you made twenty-five on one phone call. Crazy, yeah. One right? phone call, twenty five thousand. Right, that's what we say. Life changing. This, that's what we say in this, right? You're just one phone call away from changing your financial future, changing your life. Absolutely. I love yeah. it. I love it. And you did it on your lunch break. I mean, literally. I keep, crazy. That's so crazy. I keep telling you know, with with all the students and with everybody out there, if you imagine that I'm literally behind you every single day, listening to what you're saying making sure you're using the script, making sure that you are smiling and dialing with the tone and the pace. And on top of that, you imagine that I'm giving you a thousand dollars an hour to, wow. to make those calls. I mean, think about it. You just did that. You were perfect. You probably made more than a thousand dollars an hour when you're on the phone. This is bananas. The absolutely. world's wide open to you. It's absolutely incredible. Do you feel that? I do feel it. I see the potential and it's it's crazy, you know, just talking to my wife now that I don't work anymore. Uh, she wants me to go full force with this. And, and I do, too, because I, I believe it does. so much. And yeah. I, I know what it can do for my family and I. So, so what I'm going to keep going. <laughs> awesome. So what about your other deals? You said you did a couple more. So you said that your VA, which, by the way, you spent you give her seven dollars an hour, has gotten you two deals. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, so these last two deals, um, the one that she got, that got us 13,000. Mm -hmm. And then we have another one pending that's supposed to close the beginning of next week. That's going to be another, <laughs> another $25,000. Oh my gosh, you're <laughs> crushing it, dude. I absolutely love it. So how much, if you just ballpark me here, how much have you actually spent on this person? Um, so far for about six months, uh, I think, I think about $900 or close to a thousand. <laughs> <laughs> so you're turning, you're turning a thousand dollars into, what did you just say? What was the first one? 13? Uh, no. first, first one was, or for her, it was 13. And then the next one would be 25. From so her. 38, that you turned a thousand dollars into $38,000 by just following the TTP method and, and just taking action and following up. But here's the thing, here's the important thing. You know, it's, yes, it's huge that you have her calling and doing it, but if it wasn't for you following up, taking these people through the process, your personality, your skills, going out to the house, finding the four pillars, right? The four pillars of prequal, which is condition, motivation, timeline, and price. You just, yeah. I, I was going to ask you all these when you were describing that deal that you just closed, but you already went through them. You were telling us they were beating up the house. They had family living in there. There's the motivation. Uh, we didn't really get the price, but we know that you made 25000 on it. And their timeline was 30 days. You already have it inside you to get those prequal out, uh, you know, those, those pillars of prequalifying out there. And you just go out there and you be yourself and you be genuine and you be a go-giver and you win. Absolutely. That's that, what it's all about. That That's all is about. so incredible. So you have a partner in this and you said that he is boots on the ground. What do you guys split responsibilities? How does that work? Uh, so, yeah, basically, I'm I'm kind of like the back end. You know, I deal with the data, the training of the VA, um, making the calls and the initial contact with the, the homeowner. So once we get a hot lead, our VA immediately uh, group chats us into our WhatsApp and uh, that's when I call the, the homeowner back and just build bond rapport, you know, to get him on, on our side. And uh, that's where I schedule the official appointment for Derek Acuff to go out there and, uh, and speak with them, take all the pictures um, and, uh, and go from there. Get him you locked know? up. Yeah, get him Absolutely. signed. Absolutely. Absolutely. Let me ask you this. 
Let me ask you this. When you are, are there any big objections that you're dealing with right now with the sellers? Are they telling you some things like, well, I got to get other offers or, oh, I got to, um, you know, I got to think about it or, you know, um, you know, what, what, there's a ton of different objections. Those are the two most, you know, um, 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 prevalent ones in our market. But, you know, what, what objections are you getting when you actually get the appointment when, when uh, Derek's out there? Um, it's honestly, it's the amount of, amount of uh, the other wholesalers that they're dealing with. Cause our market is super saturated. There's a kajillion investors and wholesalers out here. So we're just making sure that we're staying genuine and transparent with these homeowners and letting them know, you know, if you want to take a for sure, a uh, route out and, uh, you know, get out of your situation that, uh, if you go through us, we'll definitely um, you know, offer that for you, offer that speed, that convenience and, uh, and transparency throughout the entire transaction. So we just build, Derek's great. He's a perfect people person and I'm perfect over the phone. So we kind of mesh perfectly and, uh, and get it done. Beautiful. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. And it's so huge. I think, you know, getting out to the homeowner, I think it's very important in this market. If you're not doing it virtually that you get out face to face, belly to belly, knee to knee with the homeowners, because I think that that's going to set you apart. It's going to help you build uh, a stronger uh, rapport, a stronger relationship with these homeowners. Um, and I think that, you know, what, what really sets people apart in this market is to ask the right questions ask the right questions, understand what they want, understand how you can solve it. They want to trade speed and convenience for price. Okay. Yes. So we get that. Great. So that's a qualified lead, but then why do they choose you? Why do they choose your company? The reason they do it is because of the relationship you build, because they trust you because Correct. they trust you to get the deal done the way that you said it'll be done. And that is just so key right now in this market. Don't you agree? I, I couldn't agree with you more. Hundred percent. That's that's what it's all about. About that relationships, you know, and and building that 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 rapport straight up. <laughs> so so where do you go from? I, I mean, are you just wholesaling? Are you wholesaling and flipping? Are you thinking about doing some other things? What do you what what's your what's your focus? Uh, right now, we're just wholesaling. You know, um, we're just trying to put hundred percent effort into wholesaling. Um, both of our end goals, Derek and I, is to of course um, financial freedom, of course, and uh, passive income. So eventually we do want to start creatively acquiring these properties um, and cherry picking them like how Tom Crawl talks about cherry picking from uh, from the pipeline and, uh, and acquiring them for ourselves. Yeah. So yeah. until then, just full on um, pedal to the metal wholesaling. It's the best. Here's the deal. When you source the deals, you get to choose the exit strategy. It <laughs> is beautiful, especially yeah, it, when, it. when you build up a big, healthy bank account. It gives you so many other options. You get to let all those dollars go to work for you like an employee that never takes time off, is <laughs> never hungry, is never, you know what I mean? They, they're just yeah, always absolutely. working for you. It's incredible. And that's what this business does. It really leads to financial freedom if you are buying assets that are going to um, increase in value, give you pa passive cash flow, get to, you know, you can get depreciation in your taxes. I mean, there's just so much advantages to this. It's just incredible. Yeah. It really, really is. So let's talk about how did you, why did you believe that you could do this? What did you think about? What was going through your head? Put people that are listening and watching to this in your head because you had a job, you were Correct. doing your job, you know, you were making money, you were paying your bills, you were doing your thing. Like, what did you see in your mind that, that gave you the results in your head that gave you the belief that you could do this? Um, honestly, basically my motivation and my why was my family and just providing financial freedom for them. You know, I've been wanting to, to provide that for them for a long time. I just could never find the avenues to do that, you know. Um, accordingly and appropriately. Um, but I mean, one, once I tapped into this, this cold calling, at first I didn't even believe it. You know, I was like, what, calling people directly and, and being on the offense and not, and not hoping, like playing the hoping game, which is basically sending mail, hoping they check their mail, hoping they decide to grab my postcard and hoping that they even call me. Mm -hmm. So that route versus being on the offense and calling them directly, it's it's a no-brainer uh, to call yeah. to call them directly, but uh, yeah, my family was my main motivation. That got me mentally prepared to do this. And uh, every day when I'm dialing, 
if I don't feel like dialing, you know, I just think about them and uh, basically that just pushes me to keep on going. What do you see? What do you see? Do you speak, is, there, is it more time with them? Is it more opportunities? Is it more things? I mean, what, because I get it. It's your family. You love them. I get it, but it's deeper than that. What do you see in your head? What is it that, the, what is the vision that's going on? What is that? What are the results that you see? So it is time. I'm a family man and I just want to spend as much time with my two little girls and my wife. So I see trips, you know, I see time where I don't have to call into a boss and let them know anything, you know. Um, I just see the, the flexibility and the freedom. That's the main thing I'm fighting for is that freedom to be able to do whatever my family and I want to do. So that's that's my vision. That's what I see every day. That's what I dream about. Mm -hmm. So uh, and I'm slowly um, making it a reality right now and it's it's amazing goosebumps <laughs> yeah well you already have those results in your head you already have those those are feeding your beliefs those beliefs are you feed your potential you have that amazing potential when you feel that amazing potential you take massive action which what does it do it just comes back to create a massive results and then it just keeps feeding and feeding and feeding and that's how you win that's how you win in this. It's absolutely incredible. It's just you are, you're already seeing those results in your head and I think it's just so powerful and I love that people get to spend this, this you know, time in this podcast and this video so that they can understand you know, that you were the guy that was doing the nine to five. You were the guy that was like, how do, I, how do I make changes in my life? But then you did it. You put it in your head. You had the beliefs and you just, you had the certainty that you could do it. And look, you're doing it. You're doing it. You're picking up the phone. You're doing it. You're making uh, $25,000 on a lunch break from one phone call. I mean, that's Crazy. it. I mean, it is all about, you know, the thing that really helps with this is it's all about modeling people that are doing things that you, do, that, that you want. Right. Absolutely. It's all about being around people doing a lot more than you. It's all about finding the right mentors and the right plan to be able to put into place and to just do it. Right. Absolutely. Yeah, I, I couldn't agree with that anymore. I mean, the, the Facebook group that we have with TTP, I've learned so much from that group. And just I catch myself just scrolling through, you yeah. know, getting all my un, unanswered questions answered. So uh, yeah, definitely reaching out and, and mimicking other people's um you know tactics and what they and what they're doing it really helps out tremendously well that private page is bananas i mean it is like it is filled with you know people that are absolute proactive crazy people that are just out there doing amazing things so it's 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 wonderful i read you posted your checks on there and it fired everybody up that's what it's yeah. about it's about that cheerleader mentality it's about that support right you know absolutely. i mean it's just absolutely incredible well um, let me ask you this. I, I ask this on all of my podcasts. What do you think is your superpower? Oh, geez. My superpower? Um, honestly, I feel like I'm able to connect with the homeowner. I feel like I'm pretty decent on the phone, but I, I feel like I'm able to um, portray a certain amount of trust over the phone and get the homeowner to really trust me and, and believe in me and believe in my ability to get them out of their sticky situations. So, uh, yeah, I feel like that's, <laughs> that's my power. I have phone powers, I guess. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I love that. It's a, it's a very, uh, amazing power to have for sure. Um, what, um, is there, what book have you read that you think everybody should read? Uh, Okay. Okay. Um, I'm going to have to go with uh, Uncle G, uh, 10X, Grant Cardone. <laughs> okay. Uh, you, I'm sure you know about him. Uh, he's definitely a high energy individual and just five minutes of listening to him on an audiobook or just reading. Uh, I mean, that man will get you pumped for a whole week yep. you know, off of five minutes. So 10X, uh, it's all about massive action. Mm -hmm. And uh, I know y'all preach about massive imperfect action as well. And I believe that is super key, um, especially in the beginning. You know, if you're suffering from what I did for almost two years, um, <clears throat> massive imperfect action can definitely get you to the next level. You know, things don't have to be perfect. Take a step. Do it and learn the next step as you go. Simple as that. That's the best uh, education right there. Love it. Couldn't have said it better. And everybody out there, listen, at, in October, you are going to be in, have the opportunity to meet incredible people. October 15th through the 17th is the Wholesaling Summit in Asheville, North Carolina. 
It is going to be the best event of the year. Only 300 people are going to be in there. Go to WholesalingSummit2018.com. You're going to be able to meet everybody. It's going to be crazy. Go to the website. Go see who's going to be there. You're going to be blown away. And if you're that person that has those, that has those results in their head and they have the, they're building the beliefs that they can succeed in this business or they already are succeeding and they want to take it to the next level, you need to go to wholesalinginc.com forward slash TTP and have a conversation about the TTP program. It will absolutely change your life. It is proactive, it is exciting, it is just explosive. You get to keep more of your money, you get to find the biggest and best deals, you get to hit the ground running right now. So do not hesitate, go there, set up a call, it'll be the best 20 minutes of your year. So go to www.wholesalinginc forward slash TTP, just like my man here uh, went there, got signed up, and now he's rocking and rolling. Absolutely, trying to make it happen. All right. <laughs> Well, with that, I want to say uh, thank you guys for listening and watching. We really appreciate it. Benjamin, thank you so much for, for sharing here. You've, you've made a huge impact, especially on the people that are in that daily grind, in that cubicle, having those thoughts, listening to this podcast while they're sitting there typing things or, or you know, you know, putting together reports or plans or whatever and getting paid a salary hourly. You know, you are the example of what happens when you break free of that and you act, take massive action. So thank you so much. Absolutely. Absolutely. Anytime. Thank All right. you. All right, guys. Uh, until next time, I encourage you to talk to people. Love you. See ya.